Hello, my name is Jessica Tips, and I run a small genealogy company in Belfast, Northern Ireland called Ancestry NI. Um, not so long ago, I was a history student like yourself at Western, and um, Dr. McNabb reached out to me recently just to see if I would be willing to talk to you a little bit about um, sort of the value of my history degree and how it's sort of led to a career for me. So to give you a little background on myself, I went to Western from 2010 to 2013. Um, while I was there, I participated in a study abroad program led by Dr. McNabb that went to the Institute of Irish Studies at Queen's University in Belfast. Um, I can honestly say the program changed my life. I know that's a cliche, but um, I cannot advocate for study abroad enough. It really does broaden your views um, on what you can do, where you can do it, um, and there's just so much you learn by traveling that you can't really learn in the classroom. Um, I do think that's valuable. So I graduated in 2013 and started applying for grad programs across the US and UK. Um, ultimately, I decided to come back to Queens and do an MA in Irish Studies. Um, I studied at Queen's from 2014 to 2015. Um, my research was focused on understanding um, how Irish Americans defined their Irishness. Um, and that led to a lot of discussions about um, why Irish Americans are so interested in completing family history research and um, why they feel so connected to Ireland and their Irish family and ancestors. Um, so those were really interesting conversations that certainly were important in my research. Um, and in hindsight, they're incredibly valuable to the work I do now. Um, and like it's much easier for me to complete family history research if I know what about it people find so interesting. Um, I also completed a couple of internships while I was at Queen's, and I mentioned that um, because I do think study abroad and internships are two of the most important things you can do while you're a student that can really help you get a leg up and can really help you in preparing for a career. You learn a lot in an internship um, about, you know, what your job, your future career might be like. Um, you learn a lot about how to work with a team. It is invaluable experience. So, um, just to give you an idea of kind of what internships exist, um, the two I did while I was at Queens, one was as um, a researcher for a film company that was working on a television documentary on the restoration of Irish big houses in Northern Ireland. So, basically, I did research on the family lived in the Irish Big House for the company. And um, that internship turned into kind of another internship at the Public Records Office of Northern Ireland, which is a big archive here, um, where I helped them catalog the documents related to that family in private collections, because it turned out there was an overwhelming um, amount of information on that family that hadn't been cataloged. Um, so, 2015, I graduated from Queen's, and the six months after graduation did require a bit of soul searching for me. Um, I did struggle a bit to find a career that fit my kind of area of expertise. Um, unfortunately, neither of my internships turned into a full time job, as they so often do for others. Um, I moved down to Dublin for a bit, that didn't work. Um, so I just decided I'm not finding the career I want. Maybe the answer is to create it. So I wrote a business plan for um, a genealogy and tourism company in Belfast and applied for what was called the Tier 1 Graduate Entrepreneur Visa Program through Queen's. Um, so now I successfully received a sponsorship from Queen's and I am back in Belfast running my genealogy company. 
Um, I would say my time at WIU did set me up very well for a career as an entrepreneur and genealogist, even if I didn't know that that was where I was going to end up along the way. Uh, certainly from the academic side of things, uh, the history degree taught me a lot of skills that I use on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, obviously, the familiarity with primary sources and archives and how they work, um, all incredibly valuable. Also, I would say um, the ability to look at a large quantity of information and kind of put that together in a digestible manner for uh, my clients is something that a history degree taught me. Um, kind of, it's my job to take an overwhelming amount of information, take those puzzle pieces and put them together to build a story that's worth telling. Um, and I would say more importantly than the academics, um, my WAU really taught me how to be confident and how to um, take risks when it comes to my career. Um, from the very beginning at WIU, you're constantly talking with your professors and having events like this one where you talk about your career um, and, and how, how you're going to get there. And I think that's really important. So the most important things for myself that I think led me to the career I am now um, the first one would definitely be study abroad. Um, without a doubt, I would not be running a business in Belfast. I would not have gotten my master's degree in Belfast had I never come here in the first place. Um, but it's not just the location. I don't think I would have started a business if I hadn't studied abroad. I think the study abroad process built confidence allowing me to kind of expand my ideas of where and what I might do in my future. Um, second thing is internships. Um, I only told you about two that I did, but I did complete two more when I was in an undergrad. I think they are an incredibly valuable way to gain experience while you're a student and also to learn um, about the workplace and how to work and so on. And the third thing, I suppose, I would really want to emphasize is that um, it doesn't always feel like a line that's leading you directly to your dream job. Um, there were a lot of times throughout my education and after I graduated where I really thought I had failed and I really thought that I wasn't going to end up doing what I was passionate about. And um, everybody has those moments, and that's okay, and that's normal. Um, I suppose my advice to you is to just power through, keep going. Maybe you're not going to be in your dream job right away, but keep working, keep changing, and uh, some good will happen. So yeah, I guess I hope in some way that's been helpful to you. And um, good luck and I wish you all luck.